Season 9, Episode 5, Cloudy. This is Elements Part 4, I believe. Yep. Looks like we're back in the clouds. Fair All enough. Come on, guys. Hmm. Come on, guys. Let's work the problem. Let's fix who? Come on, guys. Finn, Finn you're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, if you need help turning the pages, I'm your guy. I do this thing where I lick my finger, and then the moisture helps grip the corner of the page. I wonder if this Enchiridion's been licked by like. I think you need to let just let her do her thing. That looks so comfy. I, dude, like obviously you can't sit on a cloud, right? You'd fall right through it. But could you imagine being able? Like this looks so soft and comfy, and like I would, dude, to be able to sit on a cloud like this and just chill up there would be so cool. Like, seeing him lay down, like, freaking, it's making me sleepy, man. Like, frick, I, <laughs> I'm a little sleep-deprived right now, if you can't tell. Also incredibly sunburned, if you're wondering how my face has been so red the last few videos. So, <laughs> um, looks mad comfy, that's all I'm saying. I'd hardly call this swaddling. I'm just tucking you in. This feels nice. Nice tucking, brother. Forty winks, never hurt anybody. That looks so comfy, man. <laughs> Wait, that's simple. I've seen it before. Well, that's great. Oh, uh oh. Is that sword? Oh, great. Look what happens when you go to sleep. How are we gonna get down from here? Well, not really. It's just because you stuck the sword. How high up are they? Hey, let's glide down. Yeah. <laughs> I love you better hope it's not yeah. over the ocean. Oh jeez. I got to go back for a sec. What? We just started. Got to go back. What? What is it? Tell me what's wrong. Emergency. I'm sorry. Jay, why can't you just go while you're gliding? It's a door? But this one has a small door. Like a monster zinc door? door Jake. Dude, face the other way. Dude, it's getting away. Ah, uh, it's hopeless. It's really I not. I can go again. Just have to stop thinking about it. Okay, come on, Jake. You can do it. Come on, Jake. Just stop thinking about it. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. You got to stop Listen, talking. I don't even think gliding is a good plan. We should sit tight, chill out, and wait wait for Ice King and Betty to look for us. I don't know if they are going to, though. I don't know if they care that much. Also, well, maybe Ice King. But also, why couldn't we just glide to that door? Like, really, Jake? <laughs> that... that door could have been very helpful and important. You know what you need? What? A haircut? A haircut. How long has his hair gotten by now? What's he cutting? How's he cutting it? All right. That works? He can sharpen his skin that much? His hair isn't even that long. Yes, it's been Should way I longer than this before. Uh, Mr. Mertens, I know I'm just a humble scissor jockey, but you've been coming in my shop for almost 20 years. I can tell when you got something on your mind. It's like I'm employee of the month at an ice cream store, and I get someone to cover my shift. When I come back, the place is burned to the ground, and everyone I love is doomed. And now we're up here, and we can't do anything to help. Did I secretly want that to happen? Like, deep down inside, was I afraid Fern would be better than me? And my lizard brain put out bad vibes? I guess the worst part of all is... All right, you're all done, Mr. Mertens. How's it look? Jake, I was talking about important stuff. Yeah, like Sorry, what? Sorry, I always get caught up in the haircut. You didn't even cut anything. Doing something for 
I wanted to hear the rest of his venting, but all right. Jake keeps ruining the moment in this episode. Like, he's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. <laughs> I've been trying to distract you from all this. That doesn't mean I'm happy with the way things are going. Jake, look at all this beautiful blue around us. It's pretty, right? But you know what I've been thinking? What if we're dead? Here's the best case scenario. My kids are candy zombies. That is true. I think the problem that I was having with Jake is, um, I don't know. I, I, I guess now that he's talking about it, it makes a lot more sense. Like the door, the door, I can't get the door off my mind. If you could have just glided over to that door, that could have been something incredibly useful, but we didn't because Jake thinks that sitting here is probably the best idea. I, I don't know. I, I guess it's very therapeutic like he's trying to help out finn so i i get it and also yeah from his perspective like his entire family his wife and kids are all zombies right now so honestly i can't no i all right i take back what i said he, jake was getting on my nerves but now i can understand why he's doing what he's doing so it makes sense No, he's getting his haircut therapy. Being stuck on a cloud isn't so bad. It's weird, but we've gotten out of weirder situations, right? Right. Do you want the back taper? No, no thanks. Fade? No fade. I feel a lot better now. Thanks. That'll be six fifty. Well, whatever happens in the future, I know what we should do. What? Open a barbershop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could get into that. Maybe when I'm thirty five. It happens sooner than you think. Time passes like a little cloud, my friend. But don't be cowed, my friend. Just stay positive. Hey, there's that cloud again. Okay, th can hey, we go to that now? What's behind that door, huh? It's what everybody's been wondering. That's, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's our way out of here. What? That's why I was uh, irritated with Jake in the first place, because we didn't go to the freaking door. A oh. Well, that was kind of lame. <laughs> I don't care. Don't look in this direction. It makes me feel like you can hear my most private business. Hey, Jake. It's um, got a toilet. It's some kind of angler lord. I don't care what it is. I gotta go. Hey, it's a snail. <laughs> what the? Hey, lord. Lord. He doesn't have a sword either. What? How? I. Since when is it such a hassle just to take a whiz? Mighty impressive that that worked. All this elemental stuff would have happened no matter what. That is true. We were out of town. It, it's none of their fault. Like, it just so happened to happen when they were out of town. But what happened to cause it had nothing to do with them at all. It still would have happened if they stayed here in U. So. Yeah, Jake's right. It, it's honestly just best that they were out of town during the time it happened. Nothing happened to us, so now we have a chance to fix it. Thanks, Jake. That's kind of comforting. I thought of it in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Hey, guys. Guess who's back? Uh, did you guys leave or something? Yeah, I uh, didn't think they noticed. <laughs> oh, wants him. Interesting. First, you just need to retrieve the three royal jewels from the crowns of the elemental princesses. Oh yeah, that's right. The Enchiridion doesn't work unless you have the gems to put into the book. I completely forgot about that. Because like back, oh, when was it? It was the end of season four. When the lich happened and he like, we ended up going to farm world for the first time in season five. Uh, you know, when on the last episode, we were just running around you know, for Billy, who was actually the lich, collecting all the gems. I completely forgot about that. Easy. That's great. Finally a legit plan. You have to get to all of them Thanks first. Thanks for me chill, Jake. That really helped me out. Hi. Did you guys get haircuts? They really didn't. 
<laughs> what a fascinating episode. This episode even changed my thoughts on it. Because, like, this was a very therapeutic episode. Literally therapeutic for both Finn and Jake, I would say. Um... You know, both of them really needed to hear from each other and kind of just vent their problems out. And it actually really helped. And it's really funny because in the beginning of this episode, I was kind of irritated with Jake not jumping on the gun to try and, like, I don't know, get back to work. You know, get back to Betty and Simon to try and figure it out. It's like, you know, I was, he was getting on my nerves for just wasting time out on this cloud. But that's exactly the point he was trying to make is that we shouldn't have to worry about jumping back to it right now. We need this little time to be therapeutic. So, like, legitimately the reason, like, I was like, man, we really need to get back. What are we doing? Like, that's literally what my mind got changed on, which is kind of crazy. Um, but, yeah, this was a very good therapeutic episode. Jake actually served a really good purpose in helping Finn not only vent his problems, but realizing that, you know, none of this was his fault, and he shouldn't have to feel obligated to save or fix it right now, and even though he's worried, he should be able to take his mind off of it. That's exactly what Jake needed when he was talking to Finn, because he immediately switched places with Finn in the whole venting situation, considering his whole family is probably candy zombies right now. So it's just interesting how it all worked out. So, actually, I really like how close and personal and therapeutic this episode was. Uh, it was actually very much needed. Um, it's a nice little break from the, uh, you know, what we're focusing on right now, but now we're right back into it, getting the gems for the Enchiridion to make a counter spell that, uh, Betty's going to do. So, honestly, very, very solid episode, very character driven, and it was written very well. Um, it was just really solid. That door was a bit of a letdown, but that door did get them back. So I guess it technically worked, even though it was just a toilet behind it. But yeah, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, so yeah, and now it sounds like we have a pretty solid plan, so I'm curious how it's going to be executed. So uh, yeah, anyways, very solid. really liked it, and I'm excited to see what we're getting into next. It sounds like we're getting into the actual story in the next episode, so that's going to be pretty cool. Like our first mission, I think we have like four parts of this left. I'm assuming it's another eight-parter. So I'm guessing each episode we're going to tackle another gem we have to get and then, you know, end it climactically. So we'll have to see though, of course. But yeah, that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.